Konnichiwa, Tiffany Kades. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to lay it out all in one video about how I edit and maintain a peachy Instagram feed. A lot of you guys have been requesting and asking questions about it, so I wanted to lay it out all in this video about what apps I use, how I plan my Instagram photos, and stuff like that. Everything that you need to know. I've gotten it down to about like a minute of editing time, so I'm super proud of myself, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So I've opened up Lightroom with a photo that I recently took with my coworker and friend Marissa. Um, and I literally, this is all I do guys. I click on presets and I add my peachy preset right on top. And that looks great. I probably would just export this and put it up on Instagram just as is. But I'm gonna walk you guys through it because I know a lot of you guys don't have my preset. It's a custom preset that I made a while back, but I'll show you guys how you guys can recreate it. So the first thing that I usually do is go into light and depending on where you take your photo, what time it is, how much sunlight there is, you're gonna have to like kind of play around with this. The main thing that I do is just up the exposure just a little bit and I actually bring it down the contrast and this is going to give it a very like 2D old image feel. So I do that, I also actually bring down the highlights I add a little bit of light to the shadows once again just to bring it into a flatter looking image and then bringing down the whites a little bit bringing up the blacks a little bit my main goal when playing around with the light and the exposure and such is just to flatten out the image and depending on what look you're going for you could definitely mess around with this a little bit more I usually don't do much with this area the main thing that creates the perfect peachy look is actually messing with the temperature and the tint so i actually like putting in quite a bit of yellow in the temperature just to make it a little bit warmer and i add a little bit of the pink magenta hue to get a little bit more peachy and that already looks great if you do have a lot of photos with like green and such in it I do take down the saturation of the green and make it a little bit more yellow and that is pretty much how I do it. I actually sometimes add a little bit of sharpening just to make the photo look crisper but that's basically it. This would fit perfectly into my feed and it literally just took a few minutes. So um, once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and export it and save to my camera roll. Okay so this is where the second app comes in for Facetune. Most of the time I just use Facetune tune to use this detail tool and I'll zoom into the photo and anything like cute shoes or some buttons or the jacket outline I will just add a little bit of crispness to it and if you can see it literally I mean you could barely tell like if you look at the feet you can tell it gets just a little bit more contrast and especially when I have like an outfit on or a cute bag that I want to highlight a little bit that is all that I do to sharpen it, put more attention to it. But that's basically how I edit my photos. Now going on into planning my Instagram feed and making sure that it fits into the aesthetic, I actually use Unum. It's actually one of my favorite apps to use when planning. I've used several, but this is the one that I keep coming back to because you can really just move around a lot of things and then stockpile photos if you've taken quite a bit over the weekend. The best thing about this is that you can kind of move around and see where you want everything. Sometimes you want some close-up shots, sometimes you want some mid shots, and sometimes you want full body. One of my favorite things about this is that you can actually also change a little bit of the exposure and lighting in here as well as the sharpening um, and if you have a photo that's a little bit darker than your other ones you can definitely lighten it up in here and that's all you have to do and it goes directly to Instagram as well okay so that's everything that I do to edit my Instagram photos but honestly guys at the end of the day do something that works for you honestly I used to spend so much time taking photos and then just throwing them in the trash because it didn't fit my aesthetic but right now I'm so happy with where my Instagram feed is at and it really does come down to just having something that's super easy for you guys to recreate, having something that you can easily put on and not worry so much about. I 
can't say this enough, don't stress too much about if it fits your feed. Post whatever makes you feel happy um, and I hope that your audience can see that you are being creative and happy as well. So thank you guys so much for the support as always. If you guys would like to see a video on how I take my Instagram photos and what equipment that I use, make sure to go ahead and like this video and leave a comment telling me what your Instagram handle is so we can be friends on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for the support as always. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and that notification bell because I am trying to upload once a week consistently. We'll see about that. But I will see you guys in my next video. Matane! Mwah! Nana!